Even though we can't eat out, consider ordering a gift card to celebrate when we can all be together again. We do know that the only way through this is by caring for one another. In the meantime, imagine happy future outings with our next episode of Check, Please! Bay Area, recorded earlier this year. Cheers. The absolute best Imperial Rolls I've ever had in my entire life. There is a burrata appetizer that I would dream about. You can't go wrong with cheese. <laughs> you can't go, no complaints, cheese. I love my cheese. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... At Redwood Credit Union, we help people achieve their financial goals together, offering customized full-service personal and business banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Redwood Credit Union. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com. It's the national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Leslie Sabraco, welcome to Check Please Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, business analyst Michelle White shares her spot for Cal Italian cuisine located in the streets of Brentwood. And filmmaker Kristen Tiesch takes us to her gastro pub and wine bar in San Francisco. But first, Mitsu Okubo's destination is on the border of Soma and the Tenderloin in San Francisco. It's been a Vietnamese <laughs> fixture for 43 years. This is Tulan. Good, right here. So how Julia Child came about to Toulon was she was meeting with the SF Chronicle editor and he was like, hey, let's grab lunch at my favorite spot. It's really right around the corner. It's called Toulon. So she came here and she just loved it. I think what makes Toulon stand out the most is definitely the family environment. My mom works here six days out of seven days a week. Even the day that she supposed to be up, she still wanted to come here to meet people. Also, the food is traditional and the recipes have not changed since the 1970s. Um, our portions are also very big and reasonable. My mom goes to pick the ingredients for the food on a daily basis, so everything's super fresh, everything's super organic. And also, we've been here for so long, so it really makes us really stand out because we've really been in the same spot and has not changed anything. So, come back tomorrow and we'll do the same thing for you again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep coming back. You're welcome. Most important is keep people happy. Keep people coming back and uh, keep everybody have a job. And we want to support them so that they can support their family. Yummy. And keep the community alive in 6th Street also. And just keep the tradition keep going. Me too. Tulan is really, it's been around for a long time, which is a rarity in San Francisco, Absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. How long have you been going? Pretty much since I've lived here. I've lived here for a little over 10 years, uh -huh. and I think maybe about my third month of moving into San Francisco, I was living in the Tenderloin, okay. and someone just said, like, oh, you should go check this place out. I've been going forever, and I just kind of popped in, and I fell in love with it almost immediately and have been going there ever since. And do you have a dish that's your go-to or dishes? Absolutely. Well, so I've pretty much had everything on the menu. Because I've had everything on the menu, I've been able to refine my interests to just one specific dish. They've got a lot of dishes. They have <laughs> quite a few. I've, yes. But um, the number 24, it is a pork kebab with imperial rolls. They have the absolute best imperial rolls I've ever had in my entire life. Granted, I haven't had every imperial roll, but of the ones I've had, this is the best. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect fry and sort of filling combination, just the right amount of meat and veggies and spice. And it's one of those things that even if I have the worst day in the year or the greatest day I've ever had, right. it's still always a constant. It's the same. It's, it's the, it's a, it, to me, it's a perfect dish right. because it's one of the few things in this world that I can always rely on. 
<laughs> the imperial <laughs> role. And what about you, Pichelle? What was your I experience? actually, we had a couple of dishes. We had the shrimp fried rice. Mm. The shrimp fried rice was really good. Mm -hmm. It actually was flavorful. Mm -hmm. It was more flavorful than I expected it to be. And then it had a little bit of the veggies. Mm -hmm. um, so I was able to mix some of the other dishes over the fried rice instead of just the steamed rice. And then what was another dish you had? The lemongrass chicken. And it was a little bit spicy. I had never had it with jalapenos before. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking like maybe they might have put a little extra touch on it for me but they actually were not skimpy with the chicken. Each of the chicken dishes that we had, they used a lot of the chicken. What about your experience, Kristen? So, so I'm a vegetarian, and I'm not sure that Toulon is the spot for vegetarians, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> so um, we, my friend and I are both vegetarians, and so we started out with the veggie tofu rolls, or like a spring roll, but mm -hmm. you know, no meat in it. It's just tofu and, and veggies, and it was, um, you know, I've had I've had more flavorful spring rolls. This one was it was fine. Like it was good. And it came with like a little hoisin sauce with carrots and peanut in it. The next thing that came almost right away, the vegetable fried rice came. And then that was flavored with some kind of like a curry because it was a yellow color. And then the tofu absorbed that flavor. Mm -hmm. And it had all sorts of vegetables in it. It was like broccoli and carrots and cabbage and onions. And then after that came the mixed veggies with bean cake and crispy noodles. And I have to say that when this arrived, it, it smelled overwhelmingly of bamboo shoots. Mm. And so that was the first thing that we noticed. And I'm then not it, sure on this show we've ever had anybody say, I don't <laughs> <laughs> talk so much about bamboo shoots. I never yeah, thought about well, that. Well, I mean, right. you know, if you're a vegetarian, it's right. sort of something that will jump out at you. All the time. Uh -huh. and, then, and, then it, and then the sauce that was on the mixed veggie dish, it was just this brown sauce. Mm. And we don't think that it really did much for the dish at all. Right. But the broccoli was fresh and crunchy, and so we ate the broccoli and like some of the other vegetables, but we kind of didn't finish that dish. We liked the fried rice the best out of all the dishes that we The fried got. rice the was fried amazing. Rice. Yeah, fried rice. Tell us <laughs> some more dishes that you get when you go. Well, outside of the number 24, um, the pho is some of my favorite in the city, mm -hmm. but I also actually really like the lemon beef salad. It's like a cold, salad served with like a cooked beef and it's really very refreshing it's almost like one of my favorite things to eat during the summer because it's like a nice prepared uh, cabbage and carrots and it's mm -hmm really refreshing considering that the place itself it's very much a hole yes. in the wall spot <laughs> yeah it's like a little diner and, I, and the price is right absolutely mm -hmm. the price absolutely. is definitely right and so if you're looking for you know a lot of food for a small price right. then this is a great place and just a little side note the place was run by one of my favorite people in all of san francisco this guy named anthony newen who was the former owner and he passed away a few years ago and he mm -hmm. was one of my favorite people in all of the city because given the location of the restaurant. Right. It's sort of, you know, it's a little rundown, right. but this person who was like a wonderful guy was almost like he had this wonderful sort of sense about him. He was always friendly and kind. And there were a lot of people in the area who, you know, who have fallen on harder times. And he always was able to recognize who, you know, needed a little help. And he would sometimes give out food to those oh, who just man. clearly did. Nice. But he was always just the most generous, yeah. just absolutely beautiful person. Right. And Toulon is one of those places that has managed to stand the test of time. And I think it's one of the many reasons why I just adore this place. Right. If there was one place I could eat it for the rest of my life, it would be Toulon. <laughs> and you'd there get you number go. 24. I would get the number not 24. 25, not 22. <laughs> if, I, if I had to choose one thing to eat for the rest of my life, it, it would be, be the it. number 24 with curry fried rice. You oh, gotta get the curry fried rice. Okay. Okay. That's especially yeah. me. You gotta kind of so get the curry yeah, fried yeah, rice. The vegetarian dish was the curry fried rice. Yeah. And okay, it was. So always it make was sure good. to ask for that. And their Vietnamese coffee. It is unreal. Oh, we had the Vietnamese coffee. Oh, it's so good. And it was. It was like drinking like coffee. Coffee Hagen Dazs. Yes, yes, it was delicious. Absolutely. Very sweet. Yes. Yeah, very sweet. Yeah, yeah it's it very good. sweet. Uh -huh. yes. All right, Meet, so your spot, wrap it up for us. Uh, well, Toulon, uh, if you want an authentic San Francisco experience with great value, great flavor, and just an overall unique experience, you can't be Toulon. Okay, and Pisha. Uh, most definitely community interest and good comfort food. And Kristen. Yeah, if you're a meat eater and you want some down home Vietnamese food and you don't have a lot of time or a lot of money, Toulon is your spot. All right, if you would like to try Toulon, it's located on 6th Street at Market in San Francisco. It's open for lunch and dinner every day, except Sunday, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $20. Kristen's 
pick is a bistro in Noe Valley that offers Balkan cuisine with a California twist. If you're craving Croatian goulash, Bosnian cevapi, even a vegan burger all paired with bibic and blaufrankish, they've got you covered. This is Bistro SF Grill. It's a neighborhood restaurant where art, community, music, delicious food and wine collide together in a simple but connecting way. And I think that's what Bistro is about. My name is Hashim Zecic. I'm a co-owner of Bistro SF Grill, the restaurant in Noe Valley. My name is Sani Felic. I am the chef co-owner of Bistro SF Grill. Balkan is a peninsula which is uh, very diverse, you know. There's Mediterranean, there's a uh, Black Sea. Middle uh, Europe. It's volcanic. It's a crossroad of the culture and cuisines. There are two aspects in the Balkan cooking, which is fast food. Usually, mostly, it's grilling. So you grill a piece of meat, you know, and uh, you eat it quickly, you go to work, you know, in the field. Or you start your stew, and the stew is 12 hours cooked, and you go, after you come back, you eat it. We have a seven vegan extra dishes, which are again not representing Balkan style, but represents us. Because you know, we we are from here, you know, we are not typical Bosnian men, you know, Balkan men. So we, we became uh, San Franciscans, you know, truly. Chris and I, I can't recall that we've talked about a lot of Balkan restaurants on this show, so it's interesting. Well, I'm glad to bring yeah, you a Balkan right. restaurant. A Balkan yes. restaurant, right? Yes. And tell us a little bit about how you found this place and oh, yes. what draws you to it. Okay. Well, I met I met one of the owners, Seni. At uh, he had a booth at the farmers market in San Francisco, and we just became friends. And then one day he, you know, I went to the farmers market, and he said, "Kristen, I'm opening up a brick and mortar restaurant. You must come." And so, um, so I did and then I kind of became a regular. Mm -hmm. So the two owners are Bosnian mm -hmm. and they actually knew each other before they both moved separately to San Francisco mm -hmm. and then they decided to open this restaurant and you know it's just become this really great neighborhood spot for people to dine and listen to music and drink. Because they know. have music every night? They have music every night. Well, And how long have you been going? Um, about 10 years. Right. And they have this great list of Balkan wines. It's so Where fun else? to see because they do. They have Slovenian, Blaufrankish, and, and they even have Turkish Sauvignon Blanc. Croatia. Right, and so I never knew that I was a fan of Plavitz until they started Blavitz serving Mali. me glass That's of Plavitz, right. and then it became my, my go-to. It goes right. great with food. Right. Before I get to your food, I want to hear, since we already touched on the wine. Yeah, I don't remember the type. Of, it was definitely, I think it was it was a check. Blau Frankish, be bitch. Um, I don't remember. I, don't, I think it might have been a Blau Frankish. I'm sorry. Kind of a nice red wine. Yes, yeah. it was a red wine. It was okay. a nice red wine. Um, the thing I just found most just put ish at the end, and we're okay. That's yeah. the one. Uh, the thing I found most striking: the food is good. However, I actually found the ambiance more captivating than anything else. Not that the food the food is good, but I felt that the people were so welcoming and warm. I felt like I didn't walk into a restaurant. I walked into like someone's house. Mm -hmm. When we were there, I was there with a small group of friends, and just the musical company that night was really fantastic. It was so, it was odd but beautiful and captivating all at the same time. It was just like a wonderful compliment to my meal at that particular moment it was a Bosnian plate. It was a sausage with hummus and pickled cabbage, and I had fries as well. <laughs> Michelle, what was your experience? I actually ended up dining with a few other ladies. We were all there on a Friday night, and we had a ball. The music, we, it was a live musician. I believe she was a violinist that night. And I started with a glass of cab, mm -hmm. with a salad. That For the appetizer, I had the shrimp kebab, which was really good. It was more flavorful than I thought it would be. And tell me and a little bit about the salad. It was like a mixed Greek salad almost. Mm -hmm. It had a little goat cheese and olives and cucumbers. It had some of everything in more of a mixed traditional salad. Right. So. Now what do you get when you go? You're the expert here. You've yeah. been there many times. Yes. Uh, there's a vegan plate mm -hmm. and Sunny, the owner, he makes these amazing crispy falafels that are you know, crusted with sesame, but he makes them out of baba beans. Mm -hmm. And so those are really good. And it comes with a, you know, generous dollop of hummus right in the mm -hmm. middle and grilled pita and then a cucumber salad and then some dolmas on the side. So you have this gigantic plate of like appetizers and main course, you know, all in one. 
and it's not that expensive. And so that's like kind of my go-to. Mm -hmm. But I also love, they have a uh, curry lentil burger that is just like a very flavorful burger that's made with lentils and curry. And mm -hmm. then it comes with a cucumber yogurt sauce. And then I usually end up getting like a side of fries. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else did you have to eat? So, uh, okay, so I went with a few other friends and I tried the swordfish, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the swordfish, I think, that particular night, it was a little under season and maybe a little, it was a little, a little too tough. But my Bosnian plate, which that's what it was called, it's fantastic. It was, I would totally and eat tell that me again. Everything again that was on. There? So it was kebab sausages with some hummus, which was delicious, and the grilled pita bread, which is like a, it felt like it was a nice sort of like a sampling of what that place has to offer. Right. Mm -hmm. Which great food and honestly, this the ambiance. The ambiance. Well, what did it. you? So you started with the salad and the shrimp kebabs, and where did you? Um, I ended move up with after that. salmon, mm -hmm. and it came with grilled asparagus, also asparagus were with the shrimp kebab. I like that it had on the menu that everything was wild. So that was a, a plus wild for me. Salmon. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and did, did you have any desserts? There is this lovely baklava dessert. Mm. This is like his mother's recipe. And then he always wants to like add his own flair to it because that's sunny. And then he makes it with lemon. So it's like this mm. lemony oh. baklava. And again, like large portion, you can split it among three people. Did you have room for any dessert? I, so I actually tried to order, I initially tried to order the baklava, but they had sold out. Oh, so I had to opt for the chocolate cake, which is good, but I wanted baklava. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, you yeah I, I'm totally down. Like, I, I, I said, like, oh, can I get the box? I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. He was super apologetic. I was like, I should have got here sooner. Got here yeah, sooner. they were completely You're out fine. of dessert the night that I went, but I did meet a few other ladies that we're going to meet again for dinner. Absolutely. There. Oh, that's so great. Yes, mm -hmm. and we all connected and exchanged numbers. Oh, that's great. Well, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us. Yeah, if you're looking for a neighborhood spot with live music and friendly owners and friendly people with some Balkan food, Balkan wine, Bistro FSF Grill is your spot. Okay, and Pichel. Um, a nice Friday night hangout spot, live music, eating at home almost. Okay, and me too. If you're looking for an interesting place for friends and family, can't think of a better place than this spot. All right, if you would like to try Bistro SF Grill, it's located on Castro at 24th in San Francisco. It's open for dinner every day except Sunday and Tuesday, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $30. Post your favorite food shots on Instagram at hashtag Bay Area Bites and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. Michelle's Brentwood Eatery is her place to indulge in Calatal cuisine. With a kitchen led by the youngest chef ever to receive a Michelin star, their European-influenced farm-to-table menu has something for everyone. This is Atraversiamo. <laughs> I'm Anthony Roost. And I'm Melissa Roost, and we're the owners here at Atraversiamo on the streets of Brentwood. We have a strong connection to Brentwood because I'm born and raised here. Been here my whole life, moved away, that's when I met Anthony. Before we started this, I was an electrical contractor and seen Alyssa and gave her a business card. <laughs> and uh, she called, surprisingly, and kind of went from there. After Alyssa and I got married in Discovery Bay, we opened our first wine bar and uh, there wasn't anything really like that out in this area. So we started with that, worked our way into the restaurant. We knew we wanted to do locally sourced, uh, especially with all the farms out here. There's an abundance of agriculture out here. Uh, just to use that, it's a no-brainer. We feel really lucky that our farmers support us just as much as we support them. And being able to constantly try new dishes and put new things together. Put the ingredients so close, we don't have to do a whole lot to it to make it taste good. It kind of speaks for itself. Yeah. Working together actually is great. I think that how we're able to make it work is I really take care of front of house and Anthony takes care of back of house. I mean, I just fell in love with hospitality. I love making people happy. I think that it's so important that when people are here that they love what we're doing and that they leave way happier than when they got here. And so that sort of just became like my passion. I couldn't imagine doing it without her, so kind of a team, so it doesn't, doesn't really work without one another. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, this is a great name for a restaurant, right? Attraversiamo. Yeah. Yes. Get your hands up here, everybody. Yes. Be Italian. Attraversiamo. Attraversiamo. <laughs> right? To cross over, to go across the street, right? Right. <laughs> Streets of. Yeah. And I'm actually new to the area, so I happened upon this place. I was looking for somewhere to go, hang out, invite people over to meet me, and this happened to be the location. What is it about the food that you adore so much? farm to table. Everything mm -hmm. is fresh. Do you have a drink when you walk in the door? Because they have quite an extensive wine list and cocktail options. Yes, one of my favorites is the lemon drop mm -hmm. and I like the mimosa which they use a passion fruit juice mm -hmm. and fresh watermelon juice so I get them both mixed together. Yes. There you go. What did you have when you went me to? We had two appetizers. The arancini which was absolutely incredible. It was a big hearty just delicious fried Ball of rice. Fantastic. Big ball of rice. And I think we overdosed on the cheese. So we had that and then we followed that up with the cheese mushroom dish mm -hmm. with like a little skillet, which is also fantastic. But again, cheese and cheese is just. You can't go wrong with cheese. <laughs> you can't you go, no complaints. Cheese. I love my cheese. And then, um, and then we followed that up with the special of the evening, which it was a bacon and clam pasta. They had mm -hmm. like sort of like a special for the evening, which is two plates of the special pasta for the night, plus a really nice bottle of wine which was fantastic. Um, and it was a little under seasoned. Mm -hmm. And the pasta was nice, but just that was sort of a bit of a disappointment. But the dessert that followed was. Oh, hang tight to that, because I want to get first too. <laughs> okay, fair No enough, desserts fair enough. yet. No desserts fair enough, allowed fair yet. All right, I want to get to Kristen and see uh, okay, what well, she had. Yes. So first of all, I want to say Atraversiamo made me cross the bay. <laughs> there you go. Let's use this. You know, because it's way out the there. Right there. It was out a, of the <laughs> that was a, <laughs> Crossover, a few I will say a few that highways. was a bit of a trek. Yes, but it's a little yes. bit of a trek. However, um, w my dad and I have a friend, an old family friend who lives in Brentwood, so this gave us an excuse to oh, go visit her. Go. So That's we brought nice. her out and we went to dinner. It was very, very, very nice. We loved mm -hmm. it. And we also ate a lot of cheese. I have to say, we did eat a lot of cheese. There is a burrata appetizer that I would dream about. Like, I would go back there, like, just for the burrata. Just, it came with kumquats and pistachio nuts and then kind of a rustic bread. Mm -hmm. And so we were all very, very impressed, and we gobbled up this burrata appetizer. Mm -hmm. But I also want to say that I walked in, and they gave me the wine list, and there are... Ten dollar glasses of yeah. wine, like and every very nice wine, mm -hmm. really wine nice wine on the menu mm -hmm. is ten dollars, and I said, "Where in the Bay Area do you find ten dollar glasses of wine?" And even some from Contra <laughs> Costa. Yeah. 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 So even the wine list, you know, reflected this local, mm -hmm. commitment local. to uh, farm to table, mm -hmm. and so yes, my dad had a fantastic. Mediterranean lamb gnocchi, mm -hmm. and it had this minty uh, gremolata, and the gnocchi was really well done, and the sauce was like just very subtle, and it came with Castle Vetrano olives mm -hmm. too. So I grabbed a gnocchi and a Castle Vetrano and dipped it in that minty gremolata sauce, and and we just had a great time together. It was a great atmosphere, the service, everybody was so nice there. Oh. I just thought that it was a great place, and if I'm going to go back and visit our family friend. We'll go back here. You would go you back know, there. Yeah. Well, tell this, us what you stand. get. We started with um, the fries, the garlic truffle fries, one of my favorites, and we had chicken and salmon that night. So tell me about the chicken. Um, it was good, mm -hmm. very moist, nice and flavorful, seasoned very well to perfection. And do you ever get the pasta there? No, I've you not had. I've never. Really? I do not get. I'm not you're, a big pasta. You're fan. a fish eater. I can yes, tell. Yes, most definitely yeah. fish eater. <laughs> <Yeah. though. laughs> well, speaking of which, I want to say too that like our friend, she ordered the shrimp tagliatelle, and she loved it. And it was very simple. It was just like a tagliatelle with like a buttery white wine sauce, and the shrimp looked lovely. So, you know, maybe that might be something that might you might want to try. That might be something that I'll try yeah, the next time. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us a little bit about brunch? Because they do have brunch. They do. My friend does the steak and eggs. Mm. I normally do the French toast, which changes by the season. So the fruit that they add to the toast, the French toast, is a seasonal French toast. This time it was bananas and nuts and blueberries. Nice. <laughs> okay, now me too. Now you can tell me about dessert. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so for dessert we have these really delicious homemade donuts with chocolate filling that, considering everything we just eaten, it was like the perfect amount of food to just follow everything up with, and it was just absolutely beautiful. All right, Michelle, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. If you are willing to make the trek and cross over, please come over to Brentwood. And me too. 
Uh, you know, it is a bit of a trek, but you know, if you happen to find yourself in the area, it's definitely worth a visit. Okay, and Kristen. $10 wines and a burrata appetizer that you will dream about. Okay, if you would like to try Atraversiamo, it's located on Sand Creek Road in the streets of Brentwood Mall. It's open for dinner Wednesday through Sunday with Sunday brunch, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $45. I have to thank my guests on this week's show, Mitsu Okubo, who invited us to his Vietnamese spot in San Francisco, Toulon, Kristen Tiesch, who took us to the Balkans via San Francisco at Bistro SF Grill in Noe Valley, and Pachel White, who brought us to her favorite place for farm-to-table Cal Italian in Brentwood, Atraversiamo. Join us next time when three more guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers! You had fun, you had fun, right? We really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash check please. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and my notes on the wines we're drinking today. Cheers! Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQED and by... Cooking is the first kind of love you know. It was starting when I was a child with my grandmother doing fresh pasta and now I transmit it to all the guests. It's something made specially for them. Oceana Cruises, proud sponsor of Check Please Bay Area. It's the national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. At Redwood Credit Union, we help people achieve their financial goals together, offering customized, full-service, personal, and business banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Redwood Credit Union.